Hey there, fellow guitar geeks. Guitar Guts back with a discussion of top wrapping your strings on SG and Les Paul guitars. You can see on the one I have in frame right now, I've top wrapped my strings, which was not the way I think that Gibson intended for that tailpiece to be used when they invented it. I think rather they meant for it to be used like the one on this Les Paul with the strings going in from the back and then heading out the front of the tailpiece angled up toward the bridge here. But on this SG, I've installed the strings backwards on purpose and brought them up around the back of the tailpiece and wrapped them across the top. Now this does uh, create some scratching on the finish on your tailpiece. So if you're a stickler about looks, you might not want to do this because it can mar the finish. It'll it will uh, you know scratch the chrome or the nickel plating on the on your tailpiece. But I do it for several reasons. I'm a little more of a fan of function rather than form, and I've always thought that having that tailpiece secured down tight, as close to the body as you can get it, prevents the possibility of both rattle, uh, which you can get if parts are loose, and um, play. If these bolts are up as far as you can get them out of the guitar body, that gives you a little more of a possibility that there's a little bit of play, a little bit of wiggle uh, to that bolt in its socket. And any wiggle in the guitar while you're playing it can produce tuning problems. So I like to have that as tight down as I can get it on the guitar. Um, and there's a reason for top wrapping uh, beyond, the, beyond the look and beyond the rattle. And that is that the angle of the string coming across the bridge and heading down toward the tailpiece right here can affect the playability of the string itself. If you have that string at a great angle, let's see if I can get this turned up where you can see it. If you have that string coming at too steep of an angle, it can make for a stiffer feeling guitar when you play it. If you have it coming down at too shallow of an angle, uh, it can make for fret buzz. Uh, well, something that sounds like fret buzz to you, but it's actually the buzz behind the saddle there. Uh, so having at the perfect angle is what you're shooting for, and sometimes you can achieve that by top wrapping that tailpiece. Now, coming over to my Les Paul guitar, I had trouble doing that. I had, tail I had uh, wrapped the tailpiece for, for years, and you might be able to see, I don't know if you can or not, but you might be able to see some scratching from where I used to have my strings top wrapped on that one. But I got sick of the uh, retainer spring rattle on this particular Les Paul. It's not always a problem, but sometimes it is. Let me take you back over to the SG and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you can see, right on the front of the bridge here, there's a little retaining wire. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little retaining wire that goes across those screws, and that's kind of a traditional way to make those things. But that little retaining wire is a really thin piece of wire, and it can get rattly if it's not on there tight enough. And that was the case with this Les Paul. So I replaced the bridge with this uh, replacement bridge for Les Pauls. So I put that on there. And this bridge has a little bit more intonation adjustment, which I like. It's a little bit wider, but it was also a little bit shorter. It didn't have the thickness that the original bridge had. Um, and that caused the strings here to be a little bit lower. And when I tried to top wrap the bridge, or, or to, sorry, top wrap the tailpiece like I usually did, it created an angle that was too high and it created a little bit of string buzz because the angle wasn't steep enough behind the bridge here, behind the saddles, and it let them buzz in their slots just a little bit. So I had to stop top wrapping this one and you can see what that causes. I've got that bridge pretty far away from the body there, which I don't like, you know, that's not my favorite way to have one set up, but it's the best way to set this guitar up. And I'd rather go with what works for this one than to try to do something that's uh, what I like for some other guitar. In the back, back here, I've got a, another Gibson SG and it's not top wrapped either for a couple of reasons. <laughs> Number one, it's a Gibson SG and the other two are Epiphone guitars. So I'm a little more hesitant to top wrap this one because it's going to ruin the tailpiece here. And if I ever wanted to sell it, that would be, you know, it would detract a little bit from the look of the guitar. Um, but also, I thought about it, but then I noticed that this tailpiece 
is a lot taller. I don't know if you can tell that from the video. I'll take you back to the Les Paul in a second, but this tailpiece is a lot taller than the one on either of my other guitars. It's got it's got a very sharp little hump to it right here in the center, and it looks really nice. But I think if you tried to top wrap that, uh, the strings are going to be up too tall. Uh, even with the bridge screwed all the way down, they may be up too tall and create too shallow of an angle going over the bridge here and could create some string buzz. So I still have that one set up like normal. Now, um, and let me show you before I go back to something else here that this tailpiece is flatter. It doesn't have that big hump on top like the Gibson SG did. It's a lot flatter here. So you can top wrap those unless, uh, unless you've done something to other components that throws off that uh, angle ratio. So let me take you over here and explain why I think top wrap makes for a more playable guitar. Because I think this, this is why a lot of people have their guitars set up that way. I've got a, a tube of cardboard set up here. Let me get this SG out of the way. Um, I've got a tube of cardboard set up here that I'm going to say is representative of either the guitar nut or, uh, in this case, what we're talking about is the guitar saddle. Um, and if we're looking at a guitar string on the bridge coming across the guitar saddle, if the angle stayed as it was coming from the guitar, then the string wouldn't be tight enough into the saddle to prevent rattling. So you have to have a little bit of an angle over the top of the saddle. But it depends on how much angle you give it over the top of the saddle as to how much of that string surface is hitting the saddle. If you don't have it at too steep of an angle, you've got a little bit of the string surface hitting the saddle in order to hold it in there secure and prevent rattle, but there's not enough of the surface to prevent it from moving a little bit in the saddle slot, having just a little bit of play to it. And I think that makes for a slinkier, uh, easier playing string. If you increase the angle behind the nut, then you're getting more and more of the surface of that string in contact with the saddle, which makes the string stiffer because it's not going to move much, and it makes for a much stiffer, harder feeling string when you play the guitar. So there is a reason to top wrap beyond uh, just aesthetics or trying to prevent rattle. It actually affects the playability of the guitar, and that's why I prefer it over uh, the normal setup of those uh, tail pieces. Well, that's what I've got to say about it. If you've got other opinions or have other experience, please tell us in the comment section below and be sure to like our videos. We'll be back pretty soon with another topic. See you later.